Yes. Now the Rugby World Cup kicking off in Paris tonight, as you may know, and sporting nations from across the globe will be vying for the title. James Hutchison is the editor of the Rugby Blog, and he joins us for a bit of a rugby discussion. Now, um, James, I'm, I'm a novice at rugby. I, I don't pretend to know very much about rugby, but I do know that New Zealand are said favourites. Uh, what are their chances, though, of underwhelming us this time around as they've done previously? New Zealand are certainly the team to beat. Um, they have looked the strongest in the build-up over the last four years. But there's a bit of doubt about their mentality. Um, some people have said that they might be chokers. I'm not sure whether to buy into that, but I think other teams have got a chance. It's quite an open tournament. France, I think, are carrying the hopes of Europe on their shoulders. Um, I think with France, you never quite know who's going to turn up. One minute they can be full of Gallic flair and creativity, and the next minute they're utterly useless and look like they haven't turned up. And, and they, of course, they have the benefit of playing on their home ground, though. They do, they do, they do have home advantage. Um, can be a bit of a disadvantage, though, for the French. The French rugby public are renowned for being very fickle. And if the French start playing badly, then the crowd could turn against them, and it could be as much as a disadvantage. How about England? Because since uh, they won last time around, their performance hasn't been very good. No, it's been quite a dramatic fall from grace, unfortunately. Uh, they, I don't think it's their chances, to be honest. People have been saying they might get to the semi-finals, but they just haven't had the momentum going into the World Cup. They've lost 15 out of their last 16 matches away from home, and obviously they're playing all their matches in France. Mm. Their build-up hasn't been great. They lost twice to France. Johnny Wilkinson is now injured, and there's doubts about whether he'll feature in the tournament at all. But you never know. It's a World Cup, and that's the best thing about it. Mm. Anything can happen. Now, um, New Zealand again, dominating the odds for uh, for top try score. I mean, you've got yes. players such as uh, Rocco Coco, yes. and you've got uh, you've got Howlett as well. Um, yes. Can anybody compete with these two players? Well, it's difficult. New Zealand's their game plan is based around sort of speed and power, and on the counter attack, which means their backs tend to score most of the points. Uh, other players to watch out for from South Africa, Brian Haban. He's another speedster on the wing. He'll score a few tries. Uh, and the French have their own players out that wide, Christophe Dominici. So there's definitely other players contending for that top spot. But as you say, New Zealand are really the ones to watch. So, so you'd put your money on, on New Zealand then? I would, but oh, I'm, rather, a, I'm, a, I'm a patriot. The Northern, so Hemisphere, Northern Hemisphere play into the finals. Yeah, I think France will get to the final. I think it, it could be a France-New Zealand final. South Africa might have something to say about that. But... I think it'll be a, be a good tournament. That's okay. the best thing. Lovely. Well, thank you very much, um, and, I, and I promise I'll try to uh, to keep my eye yeah, a little yeah. bit closer on, on rugby compared to what I usually do. We do business news, right? So <laughs> <laughs> what can I say, James? Thank you, James Hutchison, editor of the Rugby Blog. Other stories that we're watching here on.